Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on Sam's Crafty Castle. And today we are going to do some Christmas foil cards. So this is another really, really easy way to make Christmas cards if you need a bunch or like let's say you forget somebody on your Christmas list and you're like, oh no, I forgot somebody and I need to get a card done quick. This is a really easy way to do it. So these are using some older toner sheets from Thermal Web and Unity Stamps. And basically I use a, um, a mini mink because that's just what I bought when I started foiling. But you can always use a heat laminator too. And basically you put the toner sheet in the plastic folder when you're using a mink. I showed earlier that sort of white papery stuff. That's um, the carry sheets from Thermal Web that you would use if you're using just a regular heat laminator. But basically you put the foil sheet down, the toner sheet down, sorry, the foil on top with the pretty side up, and then run it through your laminator or mink or whatever it is you're using, and you get a nice foiled project on the end. Now some come out better than others, it's a lot of trial and error and figuring out and all that kind of jazz what works and it doesn't always work. Um, sometimes it's just the foil you're using. I sometimes have trouble with the glitter foils or the um, sequin foils sometimes give me a little bit of trouble and uh, like there was supposed to be a third card in this video that didn't come out because I'm and I'm pretty sure it was because I was trying to use the sequin foil and it just wasn't going to work for what I was trying to do. So it's not always perfect but it, it does make really easy pretty simple cards if you need something in a hurry. Uh, I So what I just did there actually was you can also use the negative pieces of your foil and I had intended to use this snowflake because I looked at the foil and it was really really pretty when I pulled it off of the design but after the fact I realized that the blue was too dark for the toner paper with the toner paper being black the dark blue I used didn't show up very well. So it didn't come out very good and I didn't like it in the end. But you'll also show you the end result <laughs> when we get there. So for this card, all I'm doing is I just foiled that piece and I'm just going to stamp a greeting on it. And that's really all you have to do with these toner card fronts. So Thermal Web has a whole bunch of these. Like I said, these are some older ones from Unity. Um, I think this Snowflake one may even be discontinued. But I picked them up on a sale last year, which is probably why they were on sale, because they were probably getting discontinued, and I just didn't think about that. But I picked them up on a sale, actually, over the summer. And, wait, it's summer now. In the spring. I picked them up at a sale in the spring. And I pulled them out to use for this video, because like I said, so we, sometimes you just need something really quick, because you forgot somebody, or you forgot something at your secret Santa gift for the office Christmas party, and you're like, oh no, I need a card really quick put in my secret Santa gift for the office Christmas party and now this is a really quick and easy way to get one done if you need to and this one especially I decided it needed a little bit more bling so I did add a few um sequins or rhinestones actually to my card just to make it a little more sparkly and then this was the attempt at the snowflake toner sheet thing but like I said the foil was just too dark if I would have done it with this iridescent foil probably a different story but this iridescent foil I'm using on a different card. Same concept, it's this it's a different card front toner sheet thing, but it is the same idea. So I did the same thing. I put the foil and the pretty side up on the toner card front, and then I put that in the blue plastic thing and sent it through my mink. And that was that. I pulled it off and lovely. So like I said, this one actually came out really, really well. It foiled lovely. There are very, 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 very few spots where the foil didn't stick. And honestly, this foil is bright and shiny, as you can tell from the camera. And so you don't even notice the black spots. Now, sometimes like the dark blue one, the snowflake one, there were a few spots that didn't foil. But the foil is dark enough that you don't really see them because the foil is already dark. I had another foiling card that I was supposed to put up um, in June because it was my dad's Father's Day card, but I didn't get the video done, but that doesn't mean I won't use the video later, but that one I did black foil on, and that was really nice because guess what? You can't even tell because it's already black. Um, but I'm hoping actually that Thermal Web will come out with some of those adhesive sheets that I did a few videos back for Christmas because I actually like foiling with those a lot better. I think it's a lot easier and I tend to get more consistent, better results. I still had a few that didn't foil well on those, but I think that was my fault. I think I touched them too much. 
compare in the same thing can happen with these toner sheets if you touch them too much or too much in one spot or if you get dust on them or if you get dust on your foil like there's a lot of things that can go into it so it's really if you're someone who needs it to be perfect I'm not so sure it needs it to be per perfect the first time you do it and doesn't mind having to maybe try a few times to get it the way you want it to be um this might not be for you but if you have the time and you you know or you're okay with slight imperfections or covering up slight imperfections and chances are no one didn't even notice unless they're major like the light bulb one I tried to do with the gold sequin foil I made a thousand foil mistakes on there I didn't try to do it in one piece I tried to do it in two which is always tricky and I like I said I pulled out the sequin foil and was like eh, I don't know if this is gonna work because this doesn't always work so well and they're very big bold images so I'm sure if I would have just used a regular gold foil it would have been fine but because I tried to use the sequin ones I think it just didn't work so there's a lot of little little nuances to foil that sometimes make it not the best fit for everyone but I like it I can usually look past the imperfections and half of the time I don't even notice the spots that don't foil until the card is done so it, you know it's it's totally up to you and um but this one what I did a little differently is I decided to color in all the presents and as I was working on this because I just did red and green because I was going for a Christmas card here but if you I was thinking about it and I was like you could do like purple and blue or whatever and totally turn this into a birthday card if you use the birthday person's favorite colors or um, some other kind of celebration card, like a wedding card, I don't know, I was guessing, like, a wedding shower or a baby shower, like, if you colored it all in, like, little girl, like, baby girl pink or something, or yellow, like, baby yellow, um, it could be a baby shower, or, you know, you color it in primary colors, it could be any generic kid's birthday, so I think this present toner sheet, um, could be really useful for a lot of things beyond just Christmas, um, of course, we're doing Christmas cards in July, so I went with Christmas themed here, but that's it. And that's all I did to jazz this up. The other thing I did think of after that I, you could do um, to jazz up these toner sheets, and I do have more of them, so I'm not promising that we won't do this again. Probably not Christmas ones again, but um, I do have some ones for other seasons, is you could also like ink blend on them. And I could have done some cool ink blending in the center there where I put the greeting, but uh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> For this video so that didn't that didn't happen but basically I'm gonna do the same thing stamp a greeting in the middle and then I just glued both of these onto card bases you can't even see the card bases because they're full a2 sized card you know panels so that's I mean that's it that's the video that's this these are easy foil cards are very very easy oh I guess I'm gonna show you how I glued them down but I mean it, it, it's tape runner and and stick it on there it's it's that's it <laughs> um so if you have big greetings, like I do, I have a bunch of large greetings, and you're looking for something quick and easy to do for Christmas cards, this is a great option. So thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I will see you again soon. Have a crafty day!